As one of the primary chroniclers of ordinary Filipino men and women, Elmer Borlongan approaches his subject matter not with a tired note of sentimentality, but with clarity of vision and empathy. In this work, Paglisan, we are shown a woman who has just seen someone dear to her depart. Her face, propped up by her hand, registers her dejection. Even the space enclosing her enacts her newfound sense of instability. The red brick wall on which she rests for support seems to wobble. Despite this, she appears to intently tap into a well of acceptance, if not bravery, for the coming days. Elmer Borlongan has created a portrait that doesn't circumvent loss, but yet edifies. Symbolic figurative works of Jose John Santos III, the viewer usually detects a story. In movement, non-movement, and lostness, one may read it as a kind of scroll, starting from the top with a juxtaposition of a page from a book, a recurring trope of the artist, and an image of a god breaking through the pictorial surface. Beneath them are depictions of sculptures in contraposto, which was one of the achievements of the classical Greek period, between which a pair of human legs are being lifted in a seeming act of transcendence. On the right is a naked man in a top hat and slippers, sitting by the steps leading to the open sky. These are figures in stasis, providing contrast to two similar figures below who are about to walk opposite directions. One blindfolded, about to crash against a wall. The other unrestricted, stepping into an expansive space only bordered by the edge of the painting. Meanwhile, a man in a suit falls in a hole, serving as a counterpoint to the pair of legs freed from gravity. Fidel Tapaya goes on a minimalist tabula rasa mode. None of his usual dark and rich colors, no conjuring of images of dreamlike worlds where magical beasts and beings roam. None of his usual narratives embedded in Filipino cultural history that offers sharp and often piercing commentary on contemporary life and issues. Yet, what remains is still true to what critic Patrick Flores as a practice that pursues the process of myth-making, appropriating certain archetypes in the discourse of origin and expanding it to create a visual vocabulary that is entirely his own. Pure enigma.